Elon Musk has officially confirmed Tesla's shift toward hydrogen fuel cell technology, a move many are calling the birth of a true water-powered engine. This pivot comes as Tesla faces challenges with mass-producing its 4680 batteries. Analysts say this could redefine the future of clean transportation and energy independence. Is Tesla abandoning batteries for good? Let's dive right in. When Elon Musk announced that Tesla was exploring hydrogen fuel technology, it sent a ripple through the global EV community. For years, Musk himself called hydrogen fool cells. But now, reality is shifting. According to new reports and internal documents, Tesla is officially testing hydrogen fuel cell systems, what many are calling a water-powered engine. And this isn't a PR stunt. It's a calculated pivot in response to real challenges that Tesla has quietly faced behind the scenes. Tesla's vision of a fully electric future has hit an invisible ceiling. The company's 4,680 battery cells, once hyped as a revolution, have proven much harder to mass produce than expected. Complex manufacturing steps, overheating issues, and inconsistent yields have slowed down production. At the same time, global demand for lithium and nickel is skyrocketing, driving up costs and squeezing Tesla's margins. According to Bloomberg NEF, global lithium supply could fall short by 40% within the next decade. That's not just a cost problem. It's a strategic vulnerability. Musk knows it. And just like when SpaceX faced failure after three rocket explosions, he's responding with bold reinvention, not retreat. So, instead of doubling down on batteries alone, Tesla is now quietly expanding into hydrogen, an energy source once thought too complex, but now increasingly viable. Despite viral headlines, Tesla isn't building a car that literally runs on water. What's really happening is Tesla's research into hydrogen fuel cell systems, technology that turns hydrogen into electricity using a process called electrochemical conversion. Here's the basic science, simplified. Water, H2O, is split into hydrogen and oxygen through electrolysis, powered by renewable energy, like solar or wind. The hydrogen is stored in secure, high-pressure tanks. When the car runs, that hydrogen passes through a fuel cell stack, reacting with oxygen to generate electricity. The result? Power for the vehicle, with only water vapor as the byproduct. No carbon, no smoke, no emissions. This means Tesla could theoretically create a closed energy loop using its own solar farms to produce hydrogen, which in turn powers its cars and stations, a self-sustaining ecosystem built entirely on clean energy. It might sound ironic. The man who mocked hydrogen cars is now investing in them. But Musk's shift isn't hypocrisy. It's evolution. When he dismissed hydrogen a decade ago, the infrastructure was non-existent. Efficiency was low and costs were sky-high. Today, technology has caught up. Hydrogen production has become cleaner and more efficient. And countries like Japan, Germany, and South Korea are already running national hydrogen programs. According to leaked supply data from Tesla's Giga Berlin facility, the company is now testing hybrid systems, combining battery packs with compact hydrogen fuel cells. This approach could extend range, reduce charging time, and make long-distance EVS far more practical. So while traditional automakers like Toyota and Hyundai have spent years experimenting with fuel cells, Tesla's strategy appears more integrated, connecting hydrogen to its broader energy vision, not just its cars. To understand why this matters, we need to talk numbers. Gasoline engines convert only about 25 to 30 percent of their energy into motion. The rest is wasted as heat. 
EVS are far better, with 85 to 90% efficiency. Hydrogen fuel cells fall in between at around 55 to 60%. At first glance, that might look inferior to EVs, but here's the catch. Hydrogen cars can refuel in under 5 minutes and travel up to 700 kilometers on a single tank. The Toyota Mirai, for instance, already achieves that. For drivers who need long-range and quick refueling, like truckers, fleets, and emergency services, hydrogen could be the more practical option. That's the balance Musk sees. EVS for urban mobility, hydrogen for scale and endurance. Every revolution faces its bottleneck. And for hydrogen, its infrastructure. Right now, there are fewer than 1,500 public hydrogen stations worldwide. Most are concentrated in Japan, Germany, and California. Building one station costs around $1 to $2 million, compared to just $100,000 to $200,000 for an EV supercharger. But here's where Tesla holds a trump card. It's supercharger network. With over 50,000 fast charging points globally, Tesla already owns the world's largest EV infrastructure. If even a fraction of those were converted into dual-purpose stations, capable of both charging and hydrogen refueling, Tesla could instantly outpace every competitor in the hydrogen race. That's what makes this pivot so strategic. Musk isn't starting from zero. He's upgrading a system that already dominates. Hydrogen's bad reputation dates back to accidents in the mid-20th century. But modern fuel systems are a different story. Today's hydrogen tanks are built from carbon fiber composites, capable of withstanding over 700 bar of pressure. They're tested under gunfire, fire exposure, and crash impacts. Toyota, Hyundai, and BMW have already demonstrated the reliability of these systems in commercial cars. Tesla, known for its engineering discipline and safety records, will likely take it even further. Integrating real-time pressure monitoring, AI-based leak detection, and smart fail-safe valves. But technology alone won't win trust. Musk understands public perception better than anyone. Expect Tesla to stage controlled demos, share transparent test data, and use its powerful online community to educate and build confidence. After all, that's how Tesla turned range anxiety into range confidence. Hydrogen safety could follow the same trajectory. Hydrogen sounds perfect until you ask how it's made. Right now, 95% of global hydrogen is gray hydrogen produced from natural gas, which still emits CO2. That means the system isn't yet truly zero emission. The real breakthrough will come from green hydrogen, generated using renewable electricity from solar or wind. According to the International Energy Agency, IEA, as green hydrogen scales up, its cost could drop by 50% or more by 2035. At that point, hydrogen becomes not just clean, but cheaper than gasoline. Here's where Tesla's advantage becomes obvious again. It already owns solar power facilities and Megapack energy storage systems. If Tesla starts producing its own hydrogen using solar electricity, splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen, it can close the loop entirely. That's not theory. That's science meeting business. New technology is always expensive at first. Remember when Tesla's first Roadster cost nearly $100,000? Now, the Model 3 is half that price, and far better. The same pattern will happen with hydrogen. As production scales, costs drop. According to IEA forecasts, green hydrogen could soon cost under $2 per kilogram, roughly equal to gasoline in energy output. And since fuel cell systems have fewer moving parts than combustion engines, maintenance will be dramatically cheaper. No oil changes, no exhaust repairs, no complex engine parts, just clean chemical energy. That's the kind of simplicity Musk loves. 
fewer points of failure, lower lifetime cost, and scalable production. Many people think this is just about making cars run on water. It's much bigger than that. Hydrogen can power everything. Trucks, planes, ships, and even homes. It can store renewable energy when the sun isn't shining or the wind isn't blowing. For Musk, hydrogen isn't a side project. It's a bridge to total energy independence. SpaceX already uses liquid oxygen and methane. But hydrogen could play a role in future upper stage propulsion or Mars energy storage. If Tesla can produce cheap hydrogen on Earth, it could one day do the same on other planets. That's the scale of this vision. Not just cleaner cars, but a cleaner civilization. The road won't be easy. Hydrogen infrastructure is underdeveloped. Government regulations differ by country. And large-scale production is still costly. But none of that stopped Tesla from transforming the EV market or SpaceX from making rockets reusable. This new phase isn't about abandoning batteries. It's about expanding the boundaries of what's possible. And whether the so-called water engine becomes Tesla's next breakthrough or not, one thing is clear. The company is preparing for a future beyond lithium, beyond limits, and beyond what anyone thought possible. And that's the true meaning behind Tesla's new water engine. It's not science fiction. It's a real step toward transforming how we power the world. This is exactly why Elon Musk's move matters. It's not just about cars, but about reshaping global energy and paving the way for a cleaner, smarter future. If hydrogen becomes the missing piece, it could fuel everything from electric cars to deep space missions. The next few years, will show whether this bold shift defines Tesla's legacy or sparks a new energy revolution. Either way, it marks a turning point for technology and for us all. What do you think? Could hydrogen truly replace batteries in the long run? Share your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear your perspective. This is Tech Revolution where we break down the biggest breakthroughs shaping our future. If you found this valuable, like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to Tech Revolution, and turn on notifications so you never miss what's next. Because the future isn't waiting, and neither should you.